Are they closed? Yeah. Oh. I'm scared. It's gonna be like a, a mouse. <gasps> Yay! Shut up! And now they'll match all your outfits. Are you serious? Yep. Heidi! Operation. Eh. <laughs> Welcome to another Operation Booty Block, guys. We are on route to the gym, and today we are doing the Build a Booty Block. We're doing build that booty. Build that booty. So we're gonna be doing real heavy weights, concentrating on the glutes, and showing you guys that a booty is not just genetics. You can build one yourself. Both of us were born without a booty, right? Yeah, seriously. They called me long back. <laughs> Hey guys, I wanted to go over my outfit before the workout. These are my lifter shoes. They're made specifically for barbell work and the lifted heel knee shoes gives you an advantage to squat into a deeper position. Um, another great shoe for training are the Reebok Nanos. I wear those on all other days that I work out. There are CrossFit shoes, so they're made to run, lift, jump, rope climb in, everything. My whole outfit is from Lululemon. I always wear form-fitted clothing to the gym because I like to do things like handstand push-ups, handstand walks, and I don't want to wear a loose shirt and give someone a peep show. <laughs> I usually wear a fanny pack when I work out, but I left it at home, so I'm using my armband this day. And the beats that I'm wearing are the wireless ones. I do have the ones that go over the ear, but they fall off during certain exercises, so. I really love those wireless ones, and they're cheaper than the over-the-ear headphones. I started off my workout with a warm-up, of course. The first exercise was an overhead squat that warms up your entire body and helps with shoulder mobility. I made sure to squeeze at the top of each overhead squat to really warm up the hips and the glutes for the barbell squats later on. I then moved on to overhead walking lunges and I held that stretch for a second or two as I did my lunges. I love doing these before booty exercise because it really makes sure to stretch your glutes. The next warm up exercise was overhead side lunges. These really warm up my legs, especially quads before I squat, so I really like these. I then moved on to hamstring curls, and you can start off by doing both legs at the same time, but if you want it to be a little more challenging, try putting one leg in the air at a time. It takes more balance, but you'll really, really, really feel them. Mine still burned from doing this exercise, and it was two days ago. And I finally got to the squat rack. I started off with another warm up since I knew I would be doing heavier weight today. I put light weight on the barbell and did squats where I held at the bottom for five seconds and then squeezed the booty for five seconds at the top. When I did the heavy weight squats, I did five sets of five, increasing the weight when I could. I think the heaviest I did was 55 pounds on each side. But it's not about the weight, it's really about making sure on those five sets of five, you always squeeze your glutes at the top position. Um, the next exercise I did was glute kickbacks. I like, And I like to bend over a little bit and press my shoulder into the pad so I can really push more weight. Kind of like a donkey kick style to it. Um, but I try to make sure, again, for about two seconds. This next exercise has always been one of my favorites. As you push the weight with the sides of your legs, you go into a squat that you hold for two seconds at a time. 
and just a few of these will have you walking funny afterwards. <laughs> I then went into the static lunge. I do these with the barbell sometimes, but the Smith machine helps me push more weight, which is great for building the booty. And that kickback forces you to engage your glutes. The next exercise is the one leg hamstring curl. I like doing these to make sure that each hamstring can push equal weight. And this goes for all leg exercises. It's always great to do one leg at a time. I actually do more one leg exercises, so I'll probably put that in another video. I then did some glute bridges using the same machine. You can use a barbell like most people, but the cushion on this machine doesn't bruise my hips. It's a little bit more comfortable. I added that platform for my feet so I could really go into a deeper glute bridge as well. The next exercise was a sideways leg press that targets your outer glute as well as your quads. I stole this move from Paige Hathaway or Michelle Lewin a while back and I love the burn I get with these. I ended the workout with some dumbbell donkey kicks. I did three sets until failure so I could really burn out my glutes. I think the first set I did almost 20 reps and the last set I did was like 10 reps. <laughs> but that was the end of my glute workout. I did some handstands with my sister Mary afterwards as a shoulder workout, but we really ended up laughing more than anything. Um, so I'll probably work out shoulders tomorrow morning. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. The next video will actually have a guest appearance in it from a well-known female athlete. So I'm excited for you guys to see who that is. Definitely stay tuned for the next video. Hoping to get it up in a few days. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. We need a perky perky. Let's be happier, Heidi. <sighs> happy, happy, happy! <laughs> Go to bed. Hi, guys! No! <laughs> Is it too much? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so quick update, guys. The reason that you haven't been seeing a whole lot of supplements in my videos is that for the last couple months, I have been trying all kinds of new things, Mary too, and some of my friends. I wanted to see what they thought of certain products, certain brands. I will be putting a stack that I've been using in a video soon, I promise. I've just been wanting to take my time really making sure that the products that I'm gonna be recommending to you guys are gonna be nothing but the best. Besides that, I put out my PO box so that you guys could send me anything you want, whether it be like a letter, um, a ring pop, a Donuts. Donuts, just whatever <laughs> you guys want. But we did get a couple things in, so I'm gonna be opening them on the channel with my sister because she got something Ooh. too. Pretty cool. So cool, so cool, so cool. So we'll start with Leslie Layton. She sent something. Um, I know who this is too. I met her at the LA Fit Expo. She's a sweetheart. So Aww. I'm gonna open that. Okay. <gasps> I mean, I would definitely Ooh. take just a card, but awesome. It looks like clothes. Oh, that's so cute. And they're super soft. Oh, I love this design. That's yeah. really cute and the color. Fuzzy shorts. <gasps> These are so cute. There's two of them. I wonder who the other one's for. This is from Leslie. Leslie, you're too sweet. Too nice. Um, it's a birthday card. I bought myself these shorts before my trip to Montana, and they came in very handy, so I figured you could use them whenever you go visit Alaska. I got your sister a matching pair. I don't know if you guys like to match or not. We actually do. My mom used to dress in the same thing all the time. It was so annoying. Always twin. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. Thank you're you. You're so sweet. I feel so special. I feel pretty and witty and gay. <laughs> and then we both got a box from John Bowles and he is the owner of Modest Apparel and he is awesome. I met him at the Arnold Expo and he was with the Modest Apparel group and they were super fun, lots of energy and I just had a blast with them. I talked with them for a while. So they sent us each something. So we we'll go ahead and open inside. these. Hey Mary, we have not met yet, but your sister is phenomenal and I'm guessing from your guys' snapshots that you're the same way. <laughs> for being in marketing for the past eight years, I've never seen anything as funny as you two girls in Snapchat. You really need your own reality TV show. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's so nice. I don't know if you guys have seen our Snapchat, but I mean we just really just Snapchat each other 
randomly. So, and a lot or of people like it. I've never had a stop back before. Ooh, that's really cute. Black Ooh. and gold. Black. I love this color. It's so cute. I love this color too. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I woke up like this. <laughs> Modest apparel, black tank. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right now it's my box from John. Hey Heidi, I'm so glad that we got to meet you at the Arnold 2015. We met a lot of people that have followed and looked up for a while, but none of them stood out like you did. Oh. Your pure innocence and energy was through the roof and it definitely carried with us for the rest of the weekend. We have received so many countless messages talking about how much our fans and customers love you and how good you looked rocking the modest tank. It was pretty amazing. P.S. Can't wait to meet your sister. You two are hilarious. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, John. There are two snapbacks. Ooh. I got all the same things that Mary did. Perfect. I'm gonna keep these intact, so all of the... Oh, now we can really be twins. Woo! Thank you, John and Leslie. We'll be matching every day this week. <laughs> a president from Fuel Shaker, they sent me a dry towel and also this shaker is awesome. If you guys like to go on trail runs and whatnot, check this out. There is a little section in there to put your protein in and this will actually plug it. We'll keep your protein intact without getting wet. Until oh you're ready my gosh, that's it. seriously genius. Right? That's genius. And you fill it up with water, you're going on a trail run, you're, you know, you're sipping your water, you can fill it up again later. Once you're ready for the actual protein, push this button at the bottom and you shake it up. Genius. Mind explosion. I'll probably do with this is I'll probably put my BCAAs in here and I'll just keep drinking water throughout my workout until I'm about halfway. That's when I really need my BCAAs and then I'll push that button, shake it up and ready to go. But thank you guys for watching this. I'm gonna thank put the, you. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna put the PO box in the video description. If you guys ever wanna send anything, I will be opening it on all the vlogs. Like I said, a letter, a candy bar, whatever it is. Candy, just, preferably candy. <laughs> Milky Way, Kit Kat. Okay, anyway, <laughs> you can send whatever you like, and we'll be opening it on the YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Bye. You got lip gloss all over your hand? A little bit. It's okay. <laughs>